everyone. Thank you so much for coming by to visit with me today. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about my summer TBR list. Um, I'm going to share with you guys the progress I've made so far. You know, June is finished and we're now in July. We're now in July, guys. And so I thought it was important to let y'all know a little snippet of what I thought about each book. And, you know, let's just talk books, guys. So the first book or let's say series that I started this um, summer in the month of June would be chosen by Ted Decker. Now guys, I I love dystopian um, novels, dystopian books, and this is definitely a Christian sci-fi fantasy series. Uh, I had a really hard time at first getting into it. I don't, up to about the first hundred pages, I, I almost thought I was going to put it down. I, I couldn't quite follow it. It centers around four young people that are recruited into the forest guard and they're on a quest on um, to themselves to find the seven lost books um, of history. And these seven books are very powerful books and there's the dark side that's trying to get a hold of these books. And so they, they go on this quest and they meet with some very colorful characters, um, Gabil and um, Michelle, I think it is, Michelle. Anyways, and so in the process, they have to learn to think with their heart is the theme of this whole book. And they need to learn to trust in Elyon. Um, I had a really hard time getting into it in the first hundred pages. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. Towards the end, I thought the book, it became more charming and... Um, it became a bit more interesting. It The book is set up as a series, so I'm now ready to read Infidel, which is the second one in the series, and I am going to give it a try. I'm going to see if I, you know, sometimes books, series like this get better as you go into them. Like, for example, when I first read the Harry Potter series, I, you know, Sorcerer's Stone was never my favorite one, um, but I had to read it to know what was going to happen in the future books. So I'm willing to give Ted Decker the same chance I gave J.K. Rowling when I read um, the Harry Potter series. So the next book on my TBR that I read in the month of June was Finding Favor with the King by Tommy Teeny. And um, I thought this book was, was really good. This book was gifted to me by my friend, my friend Denise. And um, I lent it out already, so I don't have it with me, <laughs> but I did read it. Um, it was such a good book. It's a great reminder. It, it's it's kind of like one of these books where they give you step by step. They took the story of Esther and then they apply the same principles that are used in the book of Esther for our Christian walk today and how we are seated you know, with Christ. And so it was certainly refreshing to be reminded of that. Also, you know, whose we are and, and whose we're not and who's constantly trying to confuse us and to steal our joy. I really did enjoy the uh, Finding Favor with the King. Also, I read the book Audacious by Beth Moore. And that is a book about living boldly in Christ, you know, truly walking out my faith and also allowing the Holy Spirit to, to use me. I thought the book was excellent. I've already done a book review with my friend Sherry about this book, so I will be sure to link it up here so you guys can get more information on it in case you're interested. But guys, it was a very short book, a very short read. I actually did it in audio, and it was just so, I love Beth Moore, and so hearing her share this book was just a great uh, time, and I really do recommend Audacious by Beth Moore. The other book I read this um, in June was Unashamed by Christine Kane, and the same story. We did a book review uh, Sherry and I did a book review on Unashamed. I'll be sure to link it. Anyways, the book Unashamed is about those secrets in our life. Whether it's something that you've done or someone's done to you, those secrets that have kept you in bondage and that the enemy is using to keep you from being the person that God created you to be. Um, I really, I, one of the quotes that I, I you, and you'll hear me say it again when you, if you watch the review, that really has impacted me was, uh, hurt people hurt people, broken people break people, shattered people shatter people, uh, love people love people, and free people free people. And I and when you look at anyone who's in your walk uh, in in that way, then you can actually see where their actions are coming from, you know, and and then you can respond in the way that Christ would have you respond. I thought it was a great little book. Um, it wasn't very long, and I do think that it was definitely worth your read, especially if you like Christine Kane. I love her candor. I love how much she shares about her own life. Um, and, um, hey, guys, I don't know if you can see her, but I've got my little dog, Nikki. She's a Shih Tzu on my left. Let me see if I can 
pull her up so you can see her. Hey, Nikki, you want to say hi? Hey, Nikki, you want to say hi? There's a thunderstorm outside right now. And she's freaking out. So if you hear any sounds, it's Nikki. She's letting you all know she is not a happy camper right now. But, but anyways, guys, let's go on to the next book. I've also read so far Believing Jesus by Lisa Harper. I really did enjoy this book by Lisa Harper. It was actually my first study by her. I'd seen her in women's conferences before, but I've never really done a study by her. And um, I love her candor and her transparency. I love how she shared about things that are so personal and private, like her whole adoption process with her daughter, Missy, and um, the challenges that she's faced with her daughter's illness. And also I love how she shares about her childhood and um, the impact that her family members have had in her life and in her faith. I just thought it was really great. A couple of things in the book that just hit me was where she said life is going to be either rapture or rupture. You're going to have joy, great joys or you're going to have great sorrows. And so it's navigating through those things in keeping it Christ-centered and giving the glory to God. And, you know, basically walking our faith like they did in the book of Acts. I mean, that's how he's, that's how they started this thing. And that's how we need to finish it, guys. Living boldly, living loving, living out our love, just as Christ has called us to do. I, I thought it was a really good book. Um, I thought it was really, really good. Uh, sh let me tell you something. Lisa Harper knows her Bible. That's all I have to say about her. Um, she's just able to translate it in a way where the common person like me can actually understand it. Um, I thought she was it was a good book, and I, I do recommend that one. So guys, those are the books that I've read so far from my Christian TBR. Um, right now, I have Infidel that's coming in. And also, I think I'm going to be doing Annie Downs looking for Lovely um, in the month of July. But we'll see what other books kind of pop up here and there because you guys know that I just can't stop this whole reading thing. I really enjoy it. I'm so grateful that you allowed me to share with you guys what books I've decided to read this summer. I hope that in some way it inspires or encourages you to maybe seek or to maybe study out something that you, you know, God has been leading you to do. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm so grateful that you took a few minutes to spend them with me today. I hope you guys have a great week and a great day. And guys, be blessed. Bye.